I had my five-year-old granddaughter, Beatrice, for a sleepover. And she um, came bounding in to wake me up in the morning, Saturday morning. Uh, Granny, can I open the curtains and see what the weather's like? So she did. And she was immediately interested to notice what more had been done to a house opposite, who, which is having a large extension. She's been watching this over the last couple of weeks, watching the progress, watching the men working. She said, I know what we should go do today. We should be builders. Granny, have you got any bricks and cement? <laughs> I took her to the garage where I'd been collecting cardboard boxes of all sizes and showed her and said, is, is this what you want? Yes. She carried them through to the dining room and then came back to me and spotted also in the garage the desert bag. She said, oh, can I build in that? Yes, but not with glue. <laughs> and so we brought the desert bag through and spread it out together. And she said, this is going to be the garden. And then making the garden became the main focus. Mm -hmm. I ran around the house finding things I thought might help, some fabric, some wool, some pipe cleaners, some um, wooden, little wooden pegs, feathers, uh, wooden beads. And then um, sh she set two, but at the same time, by happy coincidence, I'd had a delivery of flowers by post and we brought those through and I started to arrange them. And as I trimmed them to put them in the vase, I was providing her with little bits for her garden. And it went from there. Um, every so often I got told I should have been making my garden by now. <laughs> um, but I was making breakfast and arranging flowers and clearing up and, and just being there and talking to her about what she was doing. Um, she asked if she could get some pebbles from the garden. So we opened the patio door, went outside and she chose some pebbles and some shells. She knew exactly which pebbles she wanted for her garden, the shiny ones, the white ones, the, the size, the shape. Um, and I said, well, they're, they're soily, so they'll need to go and get washed. Uh, so please take them to the utility room to wash them. She did that, washed them, dried them. I provided an old tea towel and then she brought them back and arranged them in her garden. She then spotted the clay modeling that she'd done the day before, the, the self-harning clay was still drying out. And she said, oh, these things can go in too. These can be the big, big statues and, and things like that in the garden. And then she'd made some snails so they went in the garden too um this she spent the whole morning on this fabulous